Hi there, it's Allison, and I'm coming to you today again with another 65 and over workout. But today we're going to do a kitchen workout. Uh, there's some rain coming in the forecast, and every once in a while you just need to take a break when you're in the kitchen. So first we're going to just do a little bit of a warm-up, okay? So you're going to hang on to your counter, and we're just going to overhead reaches. So hanging on to the counter is to help you with your balance. And today we're going to do a little bit of balance work. So if you don't need to hold the counter, then you can just make a big circle with your arms. Otherwise, if you need to hold the counter so that we don't fall over or lose our balance, go ahead and put your weight on that counter. And then we're going to switch sides to the other side. So reach nice and high. Go at a pace where you can maybe sink it with your breath a little bit. So breathe out as we move. You can go um, as slow or as fast as you need to, but we just don't want to be breathing so fast that uh, we pass out. <laughs> so nice and controlled, it is a warm up. So just go at a pace. Again, if you don't need to hold on, make those big circles. Okay, now we're gonna step back with one foot and step forward and switch. Okay, so I'm just stepping back, pressing that heel down to the ground. I don't have a ton of room, so you can't really see my feet, but you can step back as far as you need to. Now, some of you, it might just be here. Okay, just little steps, because that's all we have the mobility for. Okay, if you can do more, you can definitely go into a back lunge. Okay, again, if you need to hold on. But I want you to do the range of motion that you are used to or capable of right now. Now, these are all goals that you can work towards. Okay, so if you're here right now, then, and when you can do that, Try to come here, step back, and then try to see if you can step and reach. Okay, and then the next progression is lunge, lunge back, holding on. Okay, then we're gonna lunge back with our hands on our hips, and we're gonna lunge and reach. Now we're just gonna do some twists. So nice and easy right here, just warming up our arms. If you need to hold on, that's fine. Hold on with one. And we'll do five on this side. Again, breathe while you're doing this. Don't hold that breath. And we'll switch to the other side. Each time we're trying to open up and close as far as we can. So open up, stretch through those shoulders and close. And if you're here, same thing. Open up on the left side, open up on the right. And we're gonna come here. So we're gonna squeeze our shoulder blades in the back and then press forward. Squeeze in the back, press forward. If you don't feel like you can do this without holding up, always hold on, right? Safety first. So we'll just do one arm. Three, four, five. And then you'll switch. Holding on. Breathe again. Don't hold your breath when we're doing this. It's a warm up. We need that oxygen flowing through our veins and into our muscles. Okay, so that is our warm up. All right, so today's uh, purpose is going to be to work on balance. So again, we're in the kitchen because it gives us something to hold on to. So we're gonna um, go in between a counter or if you don't have a walkway like this, you're just gonna go next to one counter, okay? If you feel more comfortable having two hands on, then face your counter. And we're just gonna go um, about a foot and a half, maybe six inches away, okay? So you're gonna hold on and we're just gonna march in place. So you're gonna bring the knee up and then down. Switching feet each time. Okay, and the main thing is we want to squeeze. So as I'm here, I'm trying to straighten everything through my heel. From my butt to my heel, everything's nice 
strong and tight. I'm using my hamstring and my glutes. Okay. Now, if you don't feel comfortable getting your knee that high, we can just go a little bit off the ground. Okay. Now, the progression for this is little steps here. Then you'd be driving your knee to the counter. And each time we're pausing at the top, right? So you're gonna own that balance a little bit, own the muscles. And when we do things slower, we get stronger and we're in more control. So that helps with prevention of falling, um, some confidence in walking, stepping off curbs, going up and down stairs, in and out of the car. Okay, then the next progression is to go sideways. And same thing, just little steps here. Trying to stay upright and not lean on that wall. Okay, so my hands here to stabilize, but I'm not holding on. Okay, I'm just on top. Again, you can have both hands. The next progression is to try to get to 90 degrees with that knee, okay? And I'm not shifting in my weight. I'm staying upright. I'm using my core here. I'm putting all of that tension on the back side. So I should feel my glute squeezing, a little bit of my side abs working all the way down through the heel. I should be balanced on my foot, not rolling out or caving in. Everything is centered and strong. Okay, and then if you feel like you have it, you can put your hands on your hips. Okay. We're gonna to try to do a minute of this. And it's a minute of slow and controlled. We're not trying to go fast again. This is walking, right? Walking is transferring your weight, single leg balance. So if you can, walk forward, pause, and walk back. This would be the progression for a more advanced mover, okay? Then you can also transfer your weight to the side and pause. So we're gonna do 10 of these to the side. You can't do sideways, just keep going forward or in place. If you wanna try it, you can try holding on, hold on, and then lift. So we're learning how to transfer our weight and then hold it and own that balance. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is a little bit of balance uh, just on one leg, so some sustained time. I got pictures of my family because right now we are all in isolation and I love and miss my family and friends. So these are Christmas cards that I still had lying around. I'm gonna put them on the ground here. I'm gonna get onto one foot and I'm gonna try to do a little squat on the one foot that I'm holding on and reach with the other. So this is just a little bit of balance with transferring of the weight. I'm not leaning forward and putting my weight on that foot that's moving, but I'm just tapping down. Okay, again, if you need to hold on to the counter here, go ahead, but we're gonna do five taps on each picture on each leg. Okay, and then the next progression would be to tap and bring it up and balance. Tap down, bring it up and balance. Tap down, bring it up and balance. And you can even reach back, bring it up. So again, lifting that knee up to 90 degrees forces us to use our core a little bit more and balance with our posterior chain is what we call kind of the hamstrings, the glutes, calves, muscles all those long sustained muscles that we use for posture and walking and our gait and our balance. All right, if your glutes are nice and burning and warm after that, we're gonna take a little bit of break and do some balance and core work with our upper body. So you're gonna turn and face your counter here and we're gonna do some um, core holds. So if this is as much as you can do, and again, we don't want to be bent out here, 
we want to drop those hips and sink them, but not sink them so much that we're arching our back. So nice and strong in here. And if you can do some pelvic tilts and just kind of rock and find where your center is, then we're going to start there in our center. Now, wrists are going to be nice and strong here. This is the first step is just doing a hold here. Okay. One thing with this is we don't want to crunch our shoulders up into our ears. We want to keep everything long and squeezing in the back along our mid back, squeezing those shoulder blades together and then keeping that core nice and tight. So ribs and hips are uh, locked and loaded together. <clears throat> we're not flaring them and arching at the back. Um, and we're not like bending or piking in the body, but back is nice and straight, hips are low. If you feel like you have this, we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. So the lower to the ground that you go, the more strength that that requires from you. The next progression would be to come back up high again. And I'm just gonna keep everything long and straight and tight. And I'm gonna do a single arm hold here. So we're gonna try to do 15 seconds, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not dropping my hip, but I'm keeping it nice and straight. 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we're gonna switch arms. So this is gonna be our upper body balance and core stability. unbalanced we're gonna call this an unbalanced squat so you're gonna get your chair and your kitchen and then I have these mats that are uh, cushy mats but if you want to uh, roll up some towels or maybe get a box or something so that the ground surface is just a little bit off um, from being flat and level together so it's almost like a single leg squat but you're still able to put both feet down so we're going to chair, and then you're going to try to stand up, okay? Now, one thing that's key here is we're not going to lean forward, but we also want to try to not use our hands. So hands can come together, and you're going to drive through your heels and squeeze at the top in those glutes. Now, we don't want to uh, tilt or kind of be a teapot here because we're off center but we want to try to keep our weight. Same thing coming down. We want to send those hips back. Okay, trust those glutes in the slow lengthening phase and let them ease you down into the chair. So we don't want to just plop down. We want to ease down. And if you don't need to rock all the way back, you don't have to, just go back into your next squat. So we're here, touch down, step up. Big thing here is knees need to go out. We don't want to see knees caving in, then we're using more of our quads and not enough of our backside, which again, that backside is going to give us the balance and the strength that we need in those postural muscles that are working hard for us. Okay, so 10 squats on each leg, and then you're going to switch.